In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. God has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of his glory in the face of Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels to show that the transcendent power belongs to God and not us. As we acknowledge our human frailty, we call to mind our sins of word, deed and omission and confess them before God our Father. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, 
that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. And I ask, we convert it, of the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon, and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, and as our faith in your Son raised from the dead is deepened, so may our hope of resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare for all peoples a banquet of rich food. On this mountain, he will remove the morning veil covering all peoples and the shroud enwrapping all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from every cheek. He will take away his people's shame everywhere on earth. For the Lord has said so. That day it will be said, See, this is our God, in whom we hoped for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hoped. We exult and we rejoice that he has saved us. This is the word of the Lord. 
The Lord is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? The, the Lord, Lord is my light and my help. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long. To A reading from the Epistle to the Romans. Hope is not deceptive, because the love of God has been poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which has been given us. We were still helpless when, at his appointed moment, Christ died for sinful men. It is not easy to die even for a good man, though, of course, for someone really worthy, a man might be prepared to die. But what proves that God loves us is that Christ died for us while we were still sinners. Having died to make us righteous, is it likely that he would now fail to save us from God's anger? When we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, we were still enemies. Now that we have been reconciled, surely we may count on being saved by the life of his Son not merely because we have been reconciled, but because we are filled with joyful trust in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have already gained our reconciliation. This is the word of the Lord. The Lord be 
with you. And also with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew. Glory to you. Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Come to me, all you who labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy, and my burden light. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Yesterday, of course, we celebrated the great feast of all saints. We celebrated those wonderful men and women who lived especially close to God, who were described as lights of the world in the several generations, and as Father Jerry also rightly reminded us, of course, we are all called to be saints. So we are also united with them in celebrating the saints. We can celebrate the call of God to each one of us to imitate them. But today we, is a much more somber day we commemorate those who have been taken from us. And I love myself the contrast between these two days. On the one hand, yesterday is obviously a day of celebration, in a way all the more since it was on a Sunday itself, something that must happen surely only every <coughs> seven years or so. And then today, a more meditative, uh, more contemplative service in which we remember before God, bearing in mind, as Father Jerry said, that we are all called to be saints, those who have been taken from us, but who are now with the saints in heaven, in the church triumphant. And we remember them, of course, well, we may remember them with sorrow that they were taken from us. At the same time, we remember them with thanksgiving for all that we have owed to them in our own lives. And obviously, I think, as many of you will, of my parents to whom I owe so much. I think of very close friends, and a list, of course, will be read out later of those whom we specifically remember before God in this service. And it seems to me that an occasion like this is an occasion on which we can remind ourselves through the departed, through this commemoration of the departed, of two essential, very quickly, essential aspects of the Christian church, <laughs> especially since, of course, rather, and in a way, sadly, this is, as you will realize, the last service, it's likely to be the last service we are able to hold uh, in this church until the 6th of December, if this lockdown is really going to continue until the 2nd of December, and I might just say I can't um, help agreeing with the Roman Catholic archbishops who protested against the effect of churches not being able to hold services. We all know there are arguments, of course, but... And we can at least remind ourselves, as we commemorate the departed, of two vital points of the Christian faith. The first, obviously, is that they are one with us in the church of Jesus Christ. They belong to the church triumphant in heaven. We, of course, are part of the church militant on this earth, striving on this earth, running the race that is set before us, surrounded by this great cloud of witnesses who are the church triumphant in heaven. But we are one church with them. We are united with them, especially through the power of the Holy Sacrament. Uh, once again, St. Ambrose, whom, as many of you know, I, is one of my great heroes, having studied him for many years. He pointed out that 
as we receive the sacrament, we are united with all those who have gone before us, and of course specifically with those whom we have loved and whom we desire to commemorate before God on a day such as this, All Souls Day. One church. And then, of course, they are in heaven because of the resurrection of Jesus. The Christian faith is based upon that one thing alone. Other matters are important, yes, but it is the resurrection alone upon which the church is based. If Christ be not risen, as Paul said, then our faith is in vain. And because of the resurrection, they have all those whom we commemorate are now, of course, in heaven with spiritual body. In the Apostles' Creed, we say, I believe in the resurrection of the body. And that is the spiritual body which we all hope to experience after this life in heaven. I, uh, wonderfully expressed, I think, by that verse from one of my favorite hymns, Jerusalem sunt luminoso, lights abode, celestial Salem is the translation of the first line. The third verse describing the body, which those whom we love have now, do, are now experiencing, the resurrected body, oh how glorious and resplendent fragile body shalt thou be when endued with so much beauty, full of health and strong and free, full of vigor, full of pleasure that shall last eternally. That is the resurrected body which is our hope and which they themselves are now experiencing. We can be encouraged and consoled, I think, by remembering that those are two of the essential teachings <coughs> of the Christian faith. Let us hold them especially in mind through the dreary weeks, perhaps. They, well, they shouldn't be so dreary if we make good use of them. The four weeks of the lockdown which lie ahead of us from this coming Thursday. And remember, just commi committing ourselves once again to God, if I may quote again those wonderful verses from Psalm 37, commit thy way unto the Lord, put thy trust in him, and he will bring it to pass. He will make thy righteousness as clear as the light and thy just dealing as the noonday. Day of wrath and doom impending, day is world with sinners bending, heaven and earth in ashes ending. Oh, what fear man's bosom rendeth, when from heaven the judge descendeth.
Grant them thy eternal rest. Amen. We believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us he came for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We pray today for the church that she may be strong in her faith in the resurrection of the dead and diligent in prayer for those who have gone before us. We pray for Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, Pope Francis, Bartholomew the Ecumenical Patriarch and the leaders of all Christian churches. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. With the Diocese of Birmingham, we give thanks for the hope of heaven and pray especially for the bereaved, particularly those who cannot attend all souls' services at this time, that they may be reassured of God's eternal love and the support the local church offers. In our deanery, we pray for the parish of St. Luke, Birmingham. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for Father Jerry and his family, our parish and congregation. We bring before God the staff, students and governors at St Albans Academy and Stanhope Wellbeing Hub. We pray for Highgate Baptist Church, St Anne's Roman Catholic Church, the Shia Mosque in Clifton Road, Birmingham Central Mosque, the Bahu Trust and Birmingham Central Synagogue. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of the world who have worked honestly for justice, life and peace, that their example and leadership may be rewarded before God with everlasting joy. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for any who fear death, that they may find hope in the risen Christ and his healing forgiveness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the health and well-being of our nation during the pandemic, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who mourn the loss of loved ones, that their sufferings may be eased by hope in the life to come. And we pray for all the sick, and for those who are near death at this time. We remember especially in our prayers all those for whom our prayers have been asked. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for the souls of all the faithful departed, for former clergy, benefactors, and members of our congregation, all who have died recently, especially Rachel Waterhouse those who have died as a result of COVID-19, and those who have died suddenly, unprepared, or alone. We have been asked to remember, 
Avril Bailey, Reg Bailey, Peter Baird, Victoria Baird, Joanna Bazin, Peter Beard Priest, Hilda Blagg, Peter Blagg, David Bowen, Herbert Bradbury, Michael Brewer, Herbert Brooks, Winifred Brooks, Beryl Carpenter, George Carpenter, Sonia Cowthray, Caroline Clapham, Kathleen Collingborn, David Craig, Alan Davis, Nicholas Davis, <coughs> Vivian Davis, Daisy Edwards, Edith Fellows, Edward Fellows Senior, Nora Fenton, Rollett Fenton, Michael Ford, Edward Forshaw Priest, Alice Fulger, Leonard Fulger, Maud Fulger, Ralph Fulger, Philip Fisson Bishop, Jean Gardner, David Grant, Bessie Haynes, Deborah Haynes, Arthur Edwin Hall, Ellen Gertrude Hall, Brenda Harvey, Tony Harvey, Colin Hay, Estella Hindley, David Morris Hughes, Jane Hughes, Lorna Hughes, Nicholas Johnson, Kitsuma Capfo, Apfule Capfo, Alule Capfo, Delo Capfo, Bridget Kruger, John Lafontaine, Simon Lafontaine, Imogen Lathbury, Olive Leach, Ian Ledsham, Ian Lowry Priest, Edith Manuel, Leslie Manuel, Mabel Manuel, Apple Merrill, Marjorie McGrath, Boyd McQueen, Hester McQueen, Elizabeth Milligan, Andrew Moyce, David Moyce, John O'Kell, Richard Onions, Rosalind Onions, Marjorie Preston, David Robinson, Emily Robinson, Joseph Robinson, Margaret Robinson, Margaret Rogers, Winnie Rogers, Herbert Sammons, Lillian Sammons, Barry Selwood, Edith Serigades, sorry, Edith Serigades, Betty Shackles, Stanley Shackles, Jean Smith, Joan Smith, Michael Smith, Peter Smith, Doreen Somerville, Mary Somerville, Dora Daniels, Dora Mountford Smith, Tom Somerville, Keith Sutton, Abby Daniel Sykes, Cecil Sykes, Helga Sykes, Holly Sykes, Audrey Taylor, Edward Taylor, Iris Teague, James Teague, Gerald Turner, Sylvia Turner, Roy Waldron, Stella Waldron, Raymond Walters, priest from Waterhouse, Rachel Waterhouse, Joyce Watts, Bill Williams, Ian Williams, Adele Wilson, George Wilson, Connie Winwood, Vernon Witcherly, Caroline Witcherly, Frederick Witcherly, Joyce Witcherly, Pauline Witcherly, Margaret Morgans, Art Leonard Morgans, Albert Edward Morgans, Florence Margaret Castle, Percy Silas Castle, John Philip Castle. Blessed eternal grant unto them, O Lord. Thy perpetual kind <coughs> May their souls and the souls of all the faithful <coughs> departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace and, and rise in glory. glory. We offer these prayers with those of all the saints and with Mary, Mother of our Lord and Queen of Peace. Let us join our prayers with all these saints. Hail Mary, full of, full grace. of grace, the Lord, Lord is, is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now and at the hour of our death. 
Let us now take a moment of silence to bring our own cares and concerns to God, our loving Father. <coughs> Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed to you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It shall become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed to you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It shall become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, the good and the good of all his church. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servants may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are united, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. And now we give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord, in him who rose from the dead, our hope of resurrection dawned. The sting of death has been removed by the glorious promise of his risen life.
Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his, holy, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of Our Lady Mary, St. Auburn, St. Patrick and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy thy name. name. Thy kingdom kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait with joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Jesus says, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Not as the world gives do I give you. Do not let your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another silent peace. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. We are one body. We all share in the one bread.
This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall, I shall be healed. Give them eternal rest, O Lord, and may perpetual life shine on them forever. For you are rich in mercy. of Christ, which we have celebrated in this Eucharist, bring us with all the faithful departed into the peace of your eternal home. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our rock and our salvation, to whom be glory for time and for eternity. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And also with you. God the Father, by whose love Christ was raised from the dead, open to you the gates of everlasting life. Amen. Amen. God the Son, who in bursting the grave has won a glorious victory, give you joy as you share the Easter faith. Amen. Amen. God the Holy Spirit, whom the risen Lord breathed into his disciples, empower you and fill you with Christ's peace. Amen. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, 
the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Neither death nor life can separate us from the love of God in Christ our Lord. Mass is ended. Go, peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.